I don't write. I'm not an actor, but I have stories to tell. So I I, I tell my stories through my art. Most of my art pieces are is is about life, about how a human cope with life. So that that inspires me. That triggers my my passion. Okay, uh, my name is Eddie, Eddie Putra, 51 years old. I've been uh, doing this visual art for almost half of my life, um, ranging from paintings, um, whatever visual media that I can use to tell my stories. My background in art started when I, I was in architectural school. Upon um, graduation, I've decided not to pursue my architectural career and focus more on um, producing visual art. first miniature, in fact, was a Gundam science fiction robot. I just got into building dioramas because when I built that Gundam, it, it, I feel that the story is not there. You know, building just a robot. And I feel that it must be an environment it lives in or, or the action that it goes in. So I built a, um, a diorama to fit my Gundam in. It's a huge three by four feet diorama. That's my first one I built about two years ago. The most challenging is to get the final processes. In a painting, it's just 2D. Right? In a diorama, it's, it's three dimension, and people will be looking at different angles. I need to know how I'm going to light it, and that must match my rendering when I paint. So in the final process of painting, um, to bring up the realism is the most challenging part. And because I, I have some background in painting, I understand colors and shades and tones, it helps uh, in building my diorama. Building diorama is not easy actually. It involves a lot of skills, painting, sculpting, wood cutting, drilling, and they are very, very small. I have on this part of this section is all about cutting and drilling and punching holes. If it involves nails, this, this is the part, this is the dirty part. And then this is my main workstation. I spend now like eight, 10 hours a day here in this space, sometimes doing nothing. See, the, the workstation needs to be arranged um, in order... You need to get things quick and you need to get it within... You can hand-reach your, your, your equipment. So, on this side, on my right, to, right to the back, uh, are where I uh, arrange my paints. Starting with oil, acrylics, right to the, um, the materials that I use for landscapes and, and such. I've got um, materials that I use to... Um, make trees and shrubs and vegetation. Uh, my cutting board. This part of the section is within reach are all my brushes, um, sculpting tools, pencils, pens, cutting tools. I start building with dreaming actually. I just lay around somewhere, sometimes my guitar, my keyboard, play the drums, just to, for me to remember things from the past and I visualize what I want to do in my head. Sometimes I sketch, but I rarely sketch. Everything is in here and I just pour it into my art. I start with the landscape and then the buildings and then the, the details like cars, people and all that. My other passion is vehicles. I love old vehicles uh, from 1960s, 70s, Volkswagens, um, Fiat, all the Stetsons, all Datsons. And I relate the vehicles to the people that I've known before, that I came across during my journey in life. My teachers, the Toyota KE Corolla, uh, that, that is my favorite car because that's the teacher that I hate at the point of time. <laughs> but as I grow older, I, I kind of relive. I want to remember these moments with the people that own that kind of car. So most of my work are based on cars, garages, old houses and such. very important piece of my life actually. This is a house that belongs to my grandma in the 1960s and 70s. Um, it's a real house. I built this from memory. Some are not that accurate because I, there's no photographs of this house anymore. So I built this from memories of myself. I, I talked to my dad, some uncles, and from the input that, I, that they get, that I got from them, I, I built this piece. It's, it's, this is where this is the kitchen of my my grandma's kitchen. This is the washing area and the toilet, the open um, 
well, where we have shower, wash our clothes. It's, it's not completed yet. There'll be details of things, yeah. But the main structure is almost complete, and I hope this will be a memory of our family, of um, my grandma's house. You know, I I cannot force in in art. You cannot force your creation. You just let it. When it when it's not there, it's not there. Just let it flow.